What's going on guys? My name is Matt Sports Talk, and welcome back to another Zombies video. Today I have some early gameplay from Shaolin Shuffle. Yes, I got to go to Infinity Ward last week early and play with some other guys. Chucky was there, Noah was there, and some other guys you may know from the Zombies community uh, and the multiplayer community were also there. And of course your boy Lee Ross was there too. Speaking of Lee Ross, today at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, that's 5 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be streaming on Infinity Ward's channel, Shaolin Shuffle, playing with Lee Ross and interviewing him about the map. I'm also going to be streaming that here on my channel, right here at 2 p.m., 5 p.m. Eastern Time. So make sure you guys come through and please leave me any comments of anything you want me to ask him about the map or developing the map or whatever you want me to ask him during the stream today. Um, in just a couple hours, make sure you leave a comment down below. I'll be picking some of those out to go ahead and ask Lee on the stream. So definitely come show your support. So many asses. Come show your support, and I hope to see you guys there uh, supporting the stream on my channel as well as Infinity Wards. But without further ado, today I wanted to show you guys the four new Kai abilities. These Kung Fu abilities that they have in the map. You guys may have seen the trail. They have Numbshucks. They have... Um, the katana as well on the wall over here. But there's these four kung fu abilities that are probably the main focus of the game. I think they're really cool, and personally, I like them a lot. There are four of them. There's tiger, snake, crane, and dragon. And today, I'm going to show you guys all four, how to complete all four, and get the final ability on all four of them, and what that looks like. So if you guys enjoy that, make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you leave a like below, and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I'm going to be posting some more Shaolin Shuffle as we get more into the map. It comes out, obviously, today, so it's going to be really exciting to see uh, how quickly we find the Easter egg on this one and how that goes. But without further ado, the first one here is Tiger. And as you'll see with all four of these Kai abilities, each one, stage one, starts out where you have to use your, basically your hands, your, your kung fu punches and kicks to kill 15 zombies. Once you do that, you're going to get these things called shurikens. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. And as you'll find out later on, which I did as well, if you actually hold down the trigger button before you throw it, it charges up the shuriken and turns a green color. And that allows you to kill three zombies with one throw as opposed to killing one zombie with one throw, as you can see right here. So in the lower right hand corner, I'm actually doing the crane one now, um, the crane ability. But basically, you're going to get a limited number of things you can do with each of the Kai abilities. So you want to maximize what you do with each one. This is the third stage for the crane right here. I obviously completed the shurikens. I got 50 kills with that. I believe it's 50 kills. And then you get 50 kills with the Kai power. As you can see right here, this one's the left trigger. You hold it down, and it basically freezes the zombies. Very similar to the ice staff, in my opinion. Um, and, and once you're done that, you get the final ability for the crane, which is this sick drop kick. I'm going to play this one back again because this one's just super cool in my opinion. I think the crane and the snake are my two favorite Kai abilities of the uh, four. But that's right there. You complete the crane and you get that ability to Kung Fu kick all the way through zombies, um, a train, whatever you want. And that one's pretty good. I'd say that's the second best in my opinion. Uh, the next one we have here is the snake. I think the snake is the best all around of the four, and you'll find out why when you get to the second stage. Obviously, the first stage again here is just doing your kung fu slaps and kicks, and this one's kind of cool. I like how she holds her hands here. She got them like hanging around like a snake. Very nice. Once you finish snake rank one, you go on to the next one. You get the shurikens again. All four of these have the shurikens as their second ability or their second uh, their second stage rather. And you can see here that when I charge it up, it turns that green and it'll kill three zombies at once, which is extremely effective. It's much more effective than using one uh, shuriken per zombie. It takes a lot less time to kill all of them and get through this stage. So right here, you can see I finish it off, complete the snake rank two, and then we get the snake rank three here. And to do this is that you use our Kai power. And this is the coolest Kai power in my opinion. You summon a skeleton. Yes. This is very similar. To skele the skeleton looks exactly the same to me as the ones in Der Eisendrock, which I really liked a lot. This skeleton is an absolute beast. This thing goes on for, I don't know, I'd say it probably kills about 10 to 12 zombies on its own. It's an absolute energetic animal. Look at this thing running around. I'm going to call him Larry just for the sake of it. I like Larry, my friend here. And this one's really easy because all you do is spawn it in and just wait. He goes and kills them for you. You kind of just lurk around and stay by him. He, he just takes them out pretty quickly. So you want to wait for Larry to kill all 50 zombies with your Kai power. And once you're done with this one, you're going to get the snake, um, the snake final power. I think it's Kai power. I, I think it's Kai power again. I don't know why. I feel like it's the same thing twice. It's kind of confusing. But this one's pretty cool. I'd say for later rounds, talking to Noah... 
um, as you'll probably see on his channel. The later rounds with the snake one, it the ability kills the zombies the quickest, so I think it's probably the most powerful of the three, especially on snake rank two. That that skeleton is just so super overpowered in my opinion. I think it's the best second rank one uh, out of all three of them. But you're gonna see right here in a minute. Once you get the final one, you get to do these these like you basically spin snakes around your wrists here is what it seems like in a quick motion and it kills everything that you touch it so this one's really good for if you get trapped at later rounds um even up to round 30 it kills them one hit so that's really good you can see here i plow through that entire horde of zombies no issues whatsoever and this one's really good because like the crane one you get to kick it and you have to go forward with it so if there's zombies behind you hitting you or if there's zombies surrounding you your you know, cut doesn't really work as well as the snake one will this one you just turn around and hit whatever's in your way and it's gonna die. It's gonna die pretty much immediately. The only thing I will say is it doesn't last that long. And uh, that is a snake one in its entirety. The last one over here, as you can see on the little vial, is the dragon. And the dragon is definitely the best one for reviving. I will also say that even though it's not the quickest yeah, final anything. Kai power, it is definitely the most effective one if you use it in a massive horde. It takes a couple seconds to get going, but you'll see at the very end here, it's super. It is meant to revive people. Whoever has this power is the reviver for the round. I gotta tell you, it's no, there's nothing comparable for this one for being able to revive people. You can see right here again, it's the uh, the punches and the kicks in the beginning for rank one, rank two is the shurikens, and then rank three for this one is definitely a bit unique. I wanna show you guys this real quick. Over here is the poster on the chair on this roof up here to getting into the pink, I think it's the pink club, the club pink. I forget what it's called, but that basically opens a strip club which allows us to go to the next step uh, when you find a token, but we haven't gotten that far yet. And then as you can see right there where Chucky was pointing, he found a record player. Both of those things, we're not quite sure what those do yet, but those are two things you're going to want to keep in mind when you're looking for Easter egg stuff. Those will be part of some kind of Easter egg down the road. I want to put those in here for you guys when you guys are searching. If you need to look for those, uh, those are where you find two of those locations that spawn in. Um, so right here you can see this is the final Kai power for the dragon. This one's very similar to what I'd say of the, the fire bow under Isendrock. It kind of freezes them and then it just destroys them um, in their path. And it kind of, he has that ripping hand animation. Very similar to what I think the fire and lava is. Right here I want to throw in is the brand new perk, the dead eye douche, dew drops. It's basically Deadshot Daiquiri from all the Treyarch games, so it's not that great of a perk in my opinion kind of stinks but here is the dragon final kai power it basically has this um this holographic dragon that swarms around in a circle from wherever the player is that has it basically anytime a zombie touches that dragon the zombie will die so it's basically an invincible force field around your player when you're moving it moves with you so you can revive you just go up and turn that on and revive anyone and they basically can't touch you while you have that thing on so the dragon's absolutely beast mode it is awesome. Definitely uh, the best one for reviving people, in my opinion. But again, like I said before, it takes a couple seconds to get going. Um, and you can see right here, um, I oh, I didn't use it. I wanted to use it there, but I didn't use it. I used the, I used the second power. The one thing, other thing I should mention is that once you complete the uh, Kung Fu ability, you can use any of the three attacks still. So all the way up, you can use rank one, rank two, or rank three. So basically, you can melee, you can use a shuriken still, or you can use your final Kai power. Um to attack the zombies so that's pretty cool you can use all three of them if you want to I would highly advise using the last one because they're most powerful but that is what you can do want to throw that in there just in case you guys are wondering so I have a minute left here and I want to talk to you guys quickly about my thoughts on the map I personally think it is my favorite map of the three so far I like the feel to it for some reason more than the other ones I think um, the I, I, you know, I'm not a huge fan of New York City but for some reason this map just feels and looks nicer to me than the other ones I love the abilities so far. I think they're really interesting, and I do think that they're going to be a critical part of the gameplay uh, for going for high rounds especially, and I think they'll definitely have a bigger part in the Easter egg. We couldn't figure out what to do after we got all four of these strategies, all four of these Kung Fu abilities completed. Uh, we've got them all four completed on the same player. Still nothing happens. Even when you go back, go back and talk to the, the Afro lady, I'm going to call her Afro lady. I have no idea what her name is. She's like the, the Dayong, the Black Panther. I don't even know, but she's called the Afro Lady in my opinion now. So, But when you go back and talk to her, nothing happens. So I'm not really sure where to go from there. If you guys figure it out, let me know. We'll be doing the Easter egg here on my channel, streaming it. And again, comment below what you want me to ask Lee when I'm over there at Infinity War today. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.
fly with the hawks, you begin when you subscribe! <laughs>